Okay, this is a video of Christopher with his discus throw. He's got uh, two different throws from two views. He's asked me to take a look at it and uh, let's see what he's got here. Let's run it through first. Okay, let's start with your uh, your flight here. Take a look at the uh, discus as you release it. You see right here the right edge is facing higher than the left edge. Then as soon as you release it, now the right edge is down. Now the front edge is up. Now the left edge is down. Now it's flat. Now the front edge is up again. Left edge is down flat. See, it's got quite a bit of wobble to it. And I think what that's coming from usually from throwers is this low orbit right here. You want to get this discus up high. Now this is the six o'clock direction, right? You're starting at 12, you're releasing at six. So now right, the discus should be uh, in the six o'clock position. It should be up, up here somewhere, a little, quite a bit higher than at least level with your shoulders. Because you're now throwing and turning from this uh, low orbit, trying to go upward. Now, if you start here, when the discus is in the six o'clock and you come back around, you'll have a much better orbit. I think it'll fly a lot better for you. That'll add quite a bit of distance to you. Okay, let's take a look at the other thing I saw here. Right here, see how your right hand, see how the uh, palm is now facing away? and you're leaning with the back of your hand, you want to try to lead with the discus forward, not the back of your hand. I'll show you again. See? That'll make it easier, too, as you, uh, if you have the uh, palm facing forward. It'll be easier to pull the discus up high here. Okay, so the next thing, coming back around here... See how your head tilts down, and then your shoulders will go down. See now the uh, left shoulder is lower than the right. Try to keep your levels, your your uh, shoulders level. Try to keep your left arm level as you come around. Maybe keep your left heel a little bit lower here too, so you're not so rotational. Okay. Then as you come around, you want to keep enough space between your knees, so that looks good, except. The, the reason your knees are farther apart now is because you let this left foot over rotate. It should stop either down the sef the uh, throwing sector line right down the middle or no farther than the left sector line. And your knee and foot, you can see, they're aimed way too far over here. And you're going to continue to rotate them. See how they're rotating to the left before you even get off? So you're, now you're not driving across, you're just kind of uh, uh, straddling or going sideways from your foot to foot. The next thing is... As your uh, left foot comes up or off the ground right there, you, you'll just see it from the side view. Let's go back to the uh, other view here. What happens is you, you don't have any flight time at all, where both feet are up in the air. See the left toe is still on the ground, the right foot is still in the air. Next scene. This is, your, this is the only uh, flight time you have, this quick uh, photo right here, and then you're down. So you need a little time, at least a couple of frames, two or three, to rotate your hips in the air. And you don't want that left leg to over rotate. You can really see it here. It's facing this direction, which is three o'clock. Okay. And again with the uh, discus, you can see how you're leading with the back of your hand here. Or this discus should be coming from the low point here. Now it should be coming up. So it'd be up here somewhere. Your left shoulder will be lower, your right shoulder will be higher, your eyes will be down here. You'll have a good body lean. See, so you're, you're pretty vertical here. You got a good lean with the, or bend of that right knee. You're up in the toe. Let's see if that foot keeps turning. Yeah, you kind of stop the foot right, right about here. 
Looks like your heel toe alignment might be okay. Let's take a look in the uh, the other video from here. Let's see where your feet land. Okay, keep turning on that right. Yeah, your heel toe, your position's uh, good. Left foot may be a little bit too far back, but uh, that's better than being in front at least. You hear you just kind of jump up with the right foot. You extend the right leg. Let's take a look at the other video. Okay, left foot down. Keep turning that right. Yeah, it looks like you just, uh, you're trying to turn it, but it looks like it's uh, more of an just an extension where you're straightening that right leg. You want to keep the right knee bent. Right heel is high. Just want to keep that knee down a little bit so you're driving around the left side. As soon as you straighten this right leg, you're going to stop rotating. See? Okay. All right, next thing is your eyes. Right here. Keep turning the head to the left. You see how your eyes just follow the discus? Okay. Keep turning everything to the left as you go around. The other thing is... Here's your saddle position. So... Extend the left leg, but you don't want to be jumping up in the air and, and losing contact. You still have the discus in your hand. You still want that left foot touching the ground, at least the toes. You can see if you totally straighten out the right leg and the, the, the right knee and the hip don't get around the left side block while you're still on the ground. Let's take a look at the uh, other view here, see what happens. Okay, left foot down. Right foot turn, and from here it looks like you're getting the right hip around, but your uh, yeah your left foot is getting off the ground a little bit too soon. And right here you kind of flick it off, off your hand. So keep turning the shoulders. See how your shoulders kind of stop, right there. Keep turning the shoulders. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. I'm trying to see if your right hip gets ahead of your left hip here. You land almost linearly like a uh, glide uh, shot putter rather than rotating around. Everything's going forward. It looks like your upper body's ahead here too. Let's take a look at that. You want to keep the upper body back as you release. Right here. Yeah, it looks like your upper body's reaching ahead, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's go back to the beginning again. Shifting over to the left. Oh, yeah, right here, he lets the, uh, the left arm, he let it get past the left knee here. Now, that's okay for the shot put, but in the discus, you want these this left arm and this left knee to kind of stay together. Okay, now here you can see where you're diving in with the left shoulder. Right here you can see the left shoulder just drive, you know, falling back into the circle. You want to try to drive around that left side. It's a good left knee bend right there. This is, this is where you want to stop that knee and that foot, right here. And then everything else rotates around. You never never quite get that right leg straight. You should have it straight, you know, right about, you're going to kick in right about here. Okay, and then, then the knee's going to come up. See how far ahead of the, uh, the right hip this foot lands? You want to try to get the hip on top of the foot so you can spin faster. And then right here, yeah, you can see how you've left the left foot behind. When this right foot touches down, you want this left foot at least over here by 9 o'clock. You see how it's been left way behind. The knee should stay under here, under your hip, the foot. So you want it to kind of turn together. It's kind of turning independently on its own there. And then, yeah, here you've got the foot, the uh, the shin here. It's horizontal, but on the other video, on the this view, it looked like it was uh, 
right here yeah you're kind of dragging it down low you want to get that heel up get that shin horizontal here so it can rotate and turn faster and you're just kind of dragging it back here so I don't know how far apart the uh, videos are but you know the techniques a little bit different in both of them so there's the drop of the left shoulder try to keep the shoulders level there's the turning of the uh, right hand and then here's the uh, this, this foot should come out wide okay out here that's good okay but like I said before the because uh, your knees so far over this way if your knee was down here your knees would be a lot closer if, you, if your knee was facing toward the throwing section and stopped let's see where you land you land right in the center that's good yeah we just want to get the shin here horizontal uh, you want to be leaning over more you got to match the shin angle here with your body angle so you can turn faster otherwise you're up a little bit too vertical in your upper body right foot's turning but then you stop it right here and then you extend that right leg the other thing is yeah right here at the high point of the discus you want it up there at uh, when it's at six you want it up here and let's take a look at your hips when your hips right here okay so your hips are facing 12 o'clock so you want these shoulders facing as much as you can over this way uh, I'm trying to see the wrap of your arm you don't really wrap the left arm inward as the right foot drops to kind of squeeze them together the left arm together it looks like you wrap the arm but the shoulder uh, doesn't go with it so yeah you want to as you bring this left arm back and wrap it back you want the shoulder to go with it to get your separation okay not too bad though here I mean your your shoulders are facing like about the two o'clock direction and your hips are at 12 but you could probably get a little bit more separation there by keeping your shoulders a little bit more toward three and then uh, avoid trying to jump up and you can see your hands vertical right here at the discus that's uh, probably a lot of the uh, the wobble right there too and then it turns more flat so you the last second you're trying to flick it and it's a good left arm block though I like that let's take a look at the other view of your left arm block right here now we want everything moving forward yep just got to keep turning the shoulders okay so giving you a lot of information um, if you make any changes, send me another video and we'll take a look. Thanks.